very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from an extreme trader this is Salah speaking so allow me please to take this opportunity to explain to you why extreme trader signals could be actually the best signal provider of all time now uh, for example on Wednesday we have sent these signals as you can see all of them actually were going in the profit then suddenly one of the signals has hit a stop loss which is really very rare to happen in our service and we found out the reason that the market was actually uh, unstable because this this news actually has rocked the market the United Kingdom and Europe are likely to miss the mid-November deadline to seal a new trade deal that is for Brexit and of course these were unexpected news now extreme trader signals provider is very different from uh, uh, from other signals providers because we actually find the reason for the market uh, instability and we are informing the members about the reason and telling them what happened for the signals and what is the reason for this and we promise them that we are gonna recover any potential losses the day after thankfully we were up to our world and thankfully we have recovered as you can see the next day all of the signals <coughs> are in green all of them are in profit all of uh, any potential losses happened that day have been recovered and thankfully as you can see the members actually are enjoying their uh, experience in extreme trader signals these are the signals of uh, november so far we have sent it in the free signals and here as well as you can see also we have sent the uh, total results of our uh, past few weeks and we can see here the messages that we are receiving from the members who are actually enjoying the experience in our service this gentleman here he have made 576 usd dollar in just one single day of using our signals so thankfully everything is going perfectly fine and yes we are doing very well and thankfully the members are very happy for the experience so if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact our support. You can find their contact details in the description below this video. Contact them today and hopefully we will see you there. Alright, so let's now analyze the market together and see what are the opportunities and setups that are actually waiting for us this upcoming week. Now, if we look at the EURUSD, the EURUSD actually has reversed almost from the level I have mentioned. Ah, almost very close to it. Uh, just like I think three three pips maybe yeah almost three pips only 2.8 pips before touching the level where I mentioned to start shorting the pair and it has already went down uh, for almost 91 pips before actually started again the bullish reversal and now it's back up to the same uh, level where I have mentioned I have mentioned to st start shorting now the question is is the same signal valid from the last week not exactly because actually this time what we can see right here is now the correction in the structure now by looking at the pair actually we can see that the bearish momentum is stronger than the bullish uh, by seeing this strong bearish breakout candle we can see that we had here one strong bearish candle and another strong bearish candle meaning the sellers or actually the bears they are actually taking the market down they are trying to push it down so what happened right here is the market is actually making another one attempt uh, to um, to rise a little bit more but what we can notice right here is there is not one even single strong bullish candle the, the candles are quite small and that's that's telling us that this market really is going down so we need to know where we can start short the euro usd now from from the point from my point of view what we can see right here is that we had here a resistance number one and the market has already created right here a resistance number two but the problem is if we look here if we zoom in we can see that the market actually closed friday night as a green candle at the same level of the resistance if we want to draw here a resistance zone let's ju let's, uh, let's just do it like that so right now we are having this resistance zone and as we can see the market actually has closed uh, as a green candle above the resistance zone that indicates that there is a chance that the market actually might rise a little bit more up before it start to be good for the short so we need to look for the best chances to start shorting the market and by looking at this strong bearish candle we can see that the nearest support to that bearish candle is exactly at the lowest bottom of the uh, tail of the candle right here now 
let me just delete all of that so it won't, it won't confuse you now let me just draw the support line exactly right here and by drawing the, the support line right there we can notice that it was also a strong key resistance right here not only once but also twice and even right here so that tells us that the level 1.81593 is really strong as a resistance and it's going to be a good idea to start shorting the euro usd on that level so the euro usd should be good for the short at 1.18593 and the safe zone, of course, is going to be ranging inside of the un until the top of the resistance right here. So it's going to be ranging for almost 56 pips, no more. And let me just draw for you the edge of the safe zone. And of course, this time the take profit level is going to be the strong key support level right here on 1.17217. You know something? No, I'm going to change it. I'm going to make it this right here. That support right here on 1.1575 uh double seven as our support uh, as our tech profit level uh we are aiming right now exactly 100 pips of profit hopefully we're gonna make them and of course the reason for that is we want the signal to be valid until the next midweek analysis video so the tech profit level is gonna be 1.1 mm, one second my friends 1.1757 Hopefully, it's going to work out uh, as a good signal and will bring us good profits. Let's look at the pound USD. So for the pound USD, I have sent the signal on the midweek analysis video that we can start short the pair at 1.32835. And as we can see, the signal has worked just perfectly fine. And the pair has reversed right there and went exactly to the take profit level, making 163 pips of profit. Guys, come on, give me some credit for that. Show me in the comments that you have entered the signal, that you are making some profits. Come on, let me just feel that. Oh, okay, whatever. So now what's going to happen next with the pound USD? Um, in my opinion, the pound USD cannot rise uh, for two reasons. First of all, uh, the USD dollar is gaining some strength right now. And second of all, the pound is getting weaker after announcing the uh, lockdown in uh, London since I think uh, last week, if I'm not mistaken. So therefore, I think there is no way for the pound USD to continue the rise. And we can expect from the euro, uh, sorry, from the pound USD to actually continue the fall. The question is where we can start shorting the pair. So let's first switch to the big, actually, let's first to delete the previous signal so it won't confuse us. Now let's move to the daily candles. So now on the daily candles, we need to look at the left to find the strongest resistance level to start shorting the pair. Now, following the rules of the hit and run and 20 pips a day, we need to look at the left to find the strong resistance level, which was the nearest one to our bearish breakout candle. Now, the question is, where is the nearest resistance to the bearish breakout candle? Now, what we can see right here is we had here a resistance level. And we can see right here also we had another resistance. However, we need to look also to a strongest resistance level. Now, if I'm not mistaken, actually, let's go back to the four hour time frame. Uh, I'm kind of feeling better, actually, if I started shorting the pair exactly right here. Let me show you right here. Like this or actually like this like this actually is better uh, if we go to the daily candles we can see right here that here we are having that resistance level and as we can see the resistance line is actually touching all of the wicks or the uh, or the, yeah all of the wicks at the top of that resistance level and it's most likely the pair is going to actually reverse at that resistance because here we're having a resistance number one on the four hour time frame. So therefore, we can expect to start shorting the pair exactly right here once it hit the same level, creating a resistance number two. So we have to wait for the pair to rise for another uh, 25 pips before it's going to be valid for the short. So therefore, I'm going to give the signal to start shorting the pound USD at the level 1.32230. And the safe zone is going to be ranging until the top of the peak of the resistance level right here. That is about 53 pips, which is really fine. So um, let me just draw for you the shape of the 
safe zone like that and if that happens we can actually aim the lowest level of the support right here to be our take profit level so we are actually aiming 100 and yeah 130 pips of profit hopefully we're gonna make them so the take profit level one point one point three zero nine two one hopefully also it's gonna work out for us as a good signal let's look now right now at the uh, AUD USD so for the AUD USD signal actually to be honestly uh, to be perfectly fair uh, it seems like we can keep the signal however not exactly the same now we need to reduce the uh, or actually bring it down so let me just delete this line here and the save or oh, sorry the uh, AUD USD can be good for the short exactly right here at the top of the resistance we can wait for the pair actually to rise a little bit more I think if I'm not mistaken 30 pips maybe uh, almost yeah 28 pips before it's going to be valid for the short at the peak of the resistance so let me just draw for you the uh, the safe zone which is going to be exactly at the top of the resistance right here as well so the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 46 pips let's just increase it a little bit more so right now it is exactly 50 pips which is really fair enough and here let's draw the edge of the safe zone like that and once we short short the pair we can actually aim that level of the support right here as our take profit level so AUD USD is good for the short at 0 0.72948 and the take profit level is gonna be of course 0 0.71451 hopefully also it will be a good signal and bring us a lot of profits let's right now check the usd cad so as you can see the usd cad signal has worked also perfectly perfectly fine usd cad has reversed exactly from the level where i have mentioned to start buying it at 1.2972 the pair has reversed there and it went all the way to the take profit level making exactly uh, at the take profit level 140 pips and actually making total of 175 pips of profit really hope you guys have entertained this uh, signal and have made really a lot of profits using it now what's next waiting for us from the usd cad i think it's very obvious that the usd cad is rising right now and the pair is actually going to continue the rise this week so therefore we can look for the buying opportunities now if we look at the usd cad we can see right here that we had a strong bullish candle from the resistance right here on 1.30940 uh, uh, yeah 40 and if we look at the left we can see right here we had a strong key support level right here and right here as well and here as well so that's telling us that this level of the support is very strong and most likely the pair is actually going to continue the rise from that level right now the pair is actually reversing from the support from the resistance right here from the resistance on 1.31526 the pair now is reversing and it's going to continue falling for another uh, 24 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy therefore and uh, wait, wait a minute i need to change something here uh, what i was going to say is I want to set the lowest level of the key support level to be the, the level where we can start buying the pair. So I'm going to reduce or bring this uh, line a little bit more down. Exactly right here. So here is actually better entry to start buying the pair. We need to wait for it to fall for another 38 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy. The reason is for this is I want to give you the safest entry and we need to put some. Um, how can I say that? Uh, we have to prepare for any chances chances that the pair actually might fall more because this price action right here uh, I'm worrying about it. Uh, it's a very strong indicator that the pair can continue the bearish reversal So therefore let's just prepare and prepare to buy the USD CAD at the lowest level of the strong key support level So therefore USD CAD is good for the buy at 1.30951 and the safe zone is going to be ranging of course until the lowest level look at my cursor right here at that support level right there so actually no that's a lot let's uh, rise it a little bit more just like this that's fair enough so the safe zone is going to be ranging for exactly 50 pips no more and let's just draw for you the uh, edge of the safe zone 
which is going to be right here and if, if uh, we started buying the pair we're going to aim the strong resistance level at 1.32309 so therefore that's going to be our take profit 1.32309 hopefully also it will bring us lots of profits let's now move to the usd gpy so as we can see i have sent the signal that we can start buying the usd gpy at 104.932 however the signal hasn't worked perfectly and as we can see that support right here has then has not actually held the position for a long time we can see that it has become here a support for one time only however support number two did not really hold the position so now what is the next move from the usd gpy if I'm not mistaken, this time actually the USD GPY is going to continue the fall for a short time until it's going to be perfectly fine for the buy right here at that very strong key support level at 104.159. If we go to the daily candles, we can see that this very same level was actually very strong as a support level. And that strong bullish candle, of course, can never be ignored. Therefore, I'm deleting the old lines where they came from so let's go back to the four hour time frame and let me just uh, rise this line a little bit more up like that perfectly fine so usd gpy should be good for the buy after it falls for another 38 pips and hopefully after that time it's going to be perfectly good for the buy so uh, we can buy the pair at 104.227 and the safe zone is going to be ranging until the edge of the other resistance right here so 38 pips actually we can increase it more i think there is no need to increase it 38 pips and that's it because uh it's not worth it more than that and i don't even think the pair is gonna fall for that much i think it's gonna be uh, a perfect signal and it's gonna work very very well and as we can see if we started buying the pair at 104.227 we can make our take profit level right here for almost 85 pips at the strong key resistance level so let me just set for you the take profit level which is gonna be on 105.090 hopefully also it's gonna work out for us as a good signal and bring us lots of profits let's now look at the usd chf so the usd chf signal as we can see is almost there at my signal it's just uh, very close to hit, the, to, to hit the entry level. But however, I am now not comfortable with the signal after seeing this price action, seeing all these wicks, wicks at the top of the candles indicating a strength in the bearish momentum. So therefore, the signal is still going to be for the buy. However, we have to adjust the level where we can start buying the pair. And actually, I'm going to select the lowest level of the support right here exactly right here so we need to wait for the usdc shift to fall for another 25 pips until it hit the support level right here and after that it's going to be hopefully valid for the buy so let me just draw for you the edge of the safe zone just like that and we can start buying the pair at the level was 0 0.91014 and of course the take profit level the take profit level is almost going to be the same because we are talking about the top of the peak of the, of the resistance. So let me just uh, change it like that. And let me just make it right here. Uh, 0 0.918, sorry. 0 0.91835. And if that happens and the signal works perfectly, then we are look looking for almost 82 pips of profit. Hopefully we are going to make them all. Now let's check the gold, which is for sure your, your favorite, uh, I think at least for the most of you. So now looking at the gold signal, uh, the signal that I have sent last uh, midweek analysis video did not hasn't been activated yet. However, let's analyze it together. So if we move to the daily candles, we can see right here, actually this is all uh, annoying, let me just delete it all. Now by seeing the daily candles, what we can notice right here? What we can notice on the gold is the gold is respecting the strong support level at 1861.69 we can see that this is the level of the strong key support level and the gold has perfectly respected that level on so many attempts no matter how many days happened 
uh, the pair has actually never uh, been able to go below that level. That means that recently or currently the gold is going to continue the rise. The question is, where is it going to continue the rise to? Or until when? The answer, in my opinion, is going to be definitely the top of that resistance at 1930. If I'm not mistaken, the gold will never stop the uh, bullish uh, rising until it finally hit that resistance level. And after that, it's going to be perfectly fine for the short. Therefore, this week we are going to long the gold and hoping for it to actually uh, continue the rise until at least, at least hit the resistance right here. That resistance also cannot be ignored. However, uh, it's going to be rising for another 280 pips of profit. However, we need to start thinking about where we can start uh, exactly buying the pair. Let's go back to the four hour time frame. So on the four hour time frame, what we can see right here is a resistance level right here. Um, it's on 1888 and the pair actually has made the bullish breakout candle from that level. Right now, the gold is ranging at that resistance on the same level, 1888. So therefore, we can expect from the market to reverse a little bit more down to hit the previous support level on 1877. And after that, it's going to be valid for the buy. If we look at the left also, right here, exactly where I'm planning to start buying the pair. We can see that this level has been a strong support level right here and right here and here and here as well. So that level cannot be ignored. And I believe that the pair is actually going to reverse on Monday morning uh, just for the pullback. And after that, it's going to continue the shoot up and it's going to rise for another three, almost 400 pips before it's going to be valid for the sell. Therefore, the gold should be good for the buy at 1877.03 uh, and the safe zone is going to be ranging until the lowest level of the support level right here exactly right here so we're talking about um, 98 pips uh, which is actually normal by the way for uh, a gold signal and the take profit level let's be realistic I'm going to make it exactly at the top of that resistance level right here so we're talking about 196 pips of profit so the take profit level is going to be 1896.80 um, um, you might see it a small signal or actually like a scalping however it's not really uh, we have to be careful when we are giving the signal for the gold. The gold is right now moving in very high volatility and we have to be very careful how to trade it. Please, my friends, pay attention to the news. The signal of the gold hasn't worked this week because of the news about finding the possible vaccine for the COVID-19 virus. And definitely it's not my fault at all. And we couldn't actually... Uh, anticipate that to happen we did our best to send the valid signal and it, in my opinion it was a valid signal however the news has changed it and you always have to be prepared for such a news which is really unexpected and it's not our fault what happened so please use a proper money management and use a small lot size be ready for the losses don't just focus on the profits only expecting yourself to always make profit from trading forex always put in your mind a plan b if you if you are trading without a plan B, there is definitely no way for you to survive in this business. If you have to have you have you must have a backup plan. You have to prepare for the losses and don't be shocked if this happens. So anyway, uh, this seems like it's going to be a very good week and we are looking for very good opportunities. And in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.